Hello and welcome to the Chess Channel. My name is John and I'll be going over a game today. Uh, I'm going to place this in the playlist for beginners as this game is another demonstration on bringing your queen out uh, a little too early before properly, properly developing your minor pieces. The Chess Principles video is one of the first videos that I put on the website, on the YouTube because the chess principles is something you want to go by. You want to be able to uh, have a, a basic uh, blueprint, so to speak, of how you should open, how sh you should play the game and then transition over in, uh, from the opening to the middle game and eventually getting to the end game. So you know, following those opening principles will keep you fairly safe, even against much higher rated opponents and uh, you won't feel as, uh, as embarrassed by losing or lose poorly if you follow those principles however if you violate those principles and start copying some of the other openings that where you see someone attacking with the queen real early or moving uh the same piece twice in the opening or not castling into the last minute i do play like that sometimes i've been playing chess for quite a while but i also know that there's a reason and there's also a time or, or there's a position that i want to see prior to me castling because I know what my opponent wants to do. And once I see that, what, once they show me what they want to do, then I'll either castle queen side or I will castle uh, king side. But again, I have that option because I'm following the opening principles. With that being said, let's get into this game. All right, so this game, uh, black is playing the Scandinavian defense. I play the movie four, he plays d5. That's how you know it's the Scandinavian. He, I take, he takes back the queen. Typically, you bring the knight out there, but I didn't because since he brought his queen out so early, um, I knew I would have an opportunity to either play the Rui Lopez and control the center or transition into the Guaco Piano game. All right, so here it is. Put him in check. He blocks the with the pawn, and then I move uh, advance the knight. I move a piece twice in the opening, and now I've castled. Notice, what am I doing? All right, what am I doing? I just centralized one of my rooks. I am still trying to develop pieces and come up with a way, a strategy to trap his king because his king is poorly, is now displaced. So I just stole a pawn, threatened with the knight there by playing the, he plays knight c4. That was actually a blunder. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's not speed past this he could have taken uh, there was a two-on-one situation where he takes with his bishop I can't take back and now he has a light square bishop in the game I would have been in trouble he blundered that piece off it happens okay uh, right here again he could have taken the bishop but he didn't want to lose the knight so he protects it and I, I made him choose that that you're gonna find yourself in these type situations to where oh man it looks like my bishop is blocked I should move it why should you move it don't move it attack another piece see if if they really want if they desire that piece that's how this this is a little bit of an advanced tactic where uh you're you're attacking another piece to see it's more like this is the psychology of the chess like how much does this person value that piece well obviously it wasn't a bad move because they valued the piece well, that was a bad move when he moved the knight to c4. That was e4. That was a blunder because now I'm going to pin his knight to the king and he's bringing the queen down for help. The queen is in the game far too early. There's a lot of other moves that he should do here. Perhaps bring the bishop, uh, his dark square bishop down to b4 and threaten and make me move the rook off of this optimal square. But he doesn't. He brings the light square bishop to 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 f5, and it's not going to do anything. Now watch this. Here's another here's another concept, an idea of what I just said. Attack two pieces. Well, his knight is no longer pinned. His knight is no longer pinned. So I went ahead and take I take it, but I took it. But here his bishop is pinned, and I want to see, does he like his bishop, or does he like his queen better? 
So here's that concept again. Because I know that I have one attacker if I don't play this. If I don't play this move, he has two, three defenders on, on the uh on the e5 on the e4 square but if i attack his queen now i've got a knight attacking the e4 a rook attacking the e4 and the bishop attacking the e4 so i'm going to win that exchange him according to my calculations so he takes with the queen to get to put me in check but here's the problem you allow me to develop my piece you allow me to develop my piece so the computer is telling him that he should take with either the bishop or the queen. Well, he's not going to do that. He's just not going to do that. He's going to move his queen. Since he moved his queen, now I can take and force an exchange between the knights. He takes back with the knight, and now I play queen uh, to b7, and at this point, checkmate is unavoidable. There's no way for him to avoid checkmate. But now, here's the, here's, the, here's the one thing that I want all beginners to see. Look at the bishop located on f8. Remember the bishop that I told you that he should have possibly developed already? That bishop is the reason he's going to lose this game. Because he can't place a rook on that square to threaten my queen out of the way and force an exchange so because that bishop is in the way that's going to allow my queen to stay right here on this line and the king has no place to go the king is over on g6 with the bishop staring him down and once I take this knight it's too late he moves the bishop at the last second, but it's too late because now he's in check. And to get out of check, he has a he has to uh, place his queen in front of the king, and that mean that's checkmate. The king can't stay where he is. He can't come down one square. He can't back up. He can't do anything. He was completely boxed in. So, don't deploy your queen too early and develop your minor pieces. He never castled. And I know how to play the Scandinavian. You can you can castle. The Scandinavian does not end up all where the king is all the way over here on, on the G file completely this way. So that's not how the Scandinavian defense goes. But once you get a displaced king, you attack relentlessly. Now, did I violate the opening principles in this video? Yes, I did. Have I been playing for a while? Yes, I have. And also, um, I went back to the principles. I came out of the principles, but I went back to the principles, and it was those principles that kept me uh, in the in, in, in that got me into this position, and also kept me from losing um, several pieces uh, because of this. My rooks are connected. My king got castled, and I have the bishop pair, and now uh, the king, the opponent king, is checkmated. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Hit like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. Um, ask me a question. Uh, my email address is chessaddict35802 at gmail.com. Um, feel free to hit me up. That's chessaddict35802 uh, at gmail.com. See you next time.